All right, welcome to a no fluff tutorial. This tutorial will be based on the widget interaction component that was introduced in 4.13. Uh, where is that at? I will be using 4.13 preview two. And there it is right here, widget interaction component. Now what this does, and let's just pop Virtual up the stream hand, anything to be able to press these buttons in case you missed sliders. it. Um, Pretty much it allows you to use a 3D widget in, um, control. in VR. You, you'll, your player control so you can use a widget just like you would normally with a mouse. Yep. Um, and you have full control over and how. And bam. So this is a project that I had finished and we're going to redo this because it's uh, pretty messy and hectic. But what should happen, and let's get in here before I jump into it. Um, what should happen? is I'll be able to move the slider a little bit and then you'll see on a uh, hover events for the buttons they'll change uh, colors and then I will press uh, my grip button and that will um, uh, button one and that will take me to a new blank level well should anyway we'll find out all right so we got this All right, there you go. I'm a little further away from my bike, but I'm talking a little bit loud. A hover event for button two should change it. And then a hover event for button one, that will be red. And then when the I, if I think it's mouse button, I forgot which one, it's either your grip or my trigger button. And bam, I am at a new level. We're gonna do preview, we're gonna launch that. Come on. Do it. New project. We're gonna use the actual. We're just gonna use the virtual reality blueprint. Just you can use whatever project, whatever project you in. You should be able to use this. It's not really big. I will go call this VR BR or VR BP a project. If I can spell here. I don't remember what I was calling it. Uh, I called it template, but whatever. Here we go. Da, 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 All right, we're going to go ahead and open up the map. We'll just so uh, motion control map. We're just gonna go there, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna create a new level. You know, I don't have to, but I just kind of do. Save it. Call this um, super map. Of course, now. I I don't even know where I say that at. Super map, cool. Anyways, all right. So that's saved. Let's go back to which controller map. All right. First off, we are going to do a couple things here. I should reorganize this a little bit better, but I'll be all right for now. We're gonna get a widget, obviously widget blueprint, and we're gonna name it WBP underscore uh, VR menu for whatever reason, doesn't really matter. Here you do everything the same that you would do in a regular UMG widget. Um, wherever you wanna put that damn thing at, we'll just leave it right there, it really doesn't matter. Big button, big button. Um, slider, we got a slider, didn't we? And I think I made it fat, didn't I? Let's, put, let's get some thickness to this thing. All right, cool, whatever. Um, whatever and then uh, there was a thing, but who cares? All right, we're good now. Um, Text, let's do a text so we know we're good here. Button one. Button two. And bam. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it's called. We know it looks ugly now. All right. Um, da, 
da 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 <laughs> We're gonna do a unclicked event for one one. And I thought I named this, but I guess not. That doesn't matter. What the heck? Whatever. Bun twenty nine? No. I wanna call you bun one. And I'll call you bun two. Oops. Da, 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 Oh, there's nothing clicked on this one, but we're going to open map, open level, and what do I call it? Super map. Did I call it super map? Let's make sure. Super map it is. Um, well, there won't be a map in the other one, so I don't know what we want to do for that later. Designer. Hovered event on hovered. Let's do the button two on hovered. And here we will do button one, button two. Set opac color and opacity. Uh, do I want to turn on some music? Maybe I'll turn on some music. I don't know. Because I don't know. YouTube might be a little crabby. Uh, we will change this to red. Change this to blue. Okay. Um, that, 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 that takes care of that. We'll see that move automatically. And that should be all right. Now we're going to call this a placeable folder. Oh, crap. Wrong button, wrong button, guys. F2. Placeables. And we are going to. Yeah, this is so annoying. Um, okay, F you. Placeables. We are going to do a blueprint actor. <sighs> VR menu. And we are going to do, first we're gonna do a widget. So we can put this in the world, 3D widget. We are going to keep it to go widget class, widget blueprint. And draw size, we're gonna do this 1080, the right way. Well, say right way, but whatever. Um, I guess that's good enough. Something like that. Right. So now, if I put this in the world, should be good enough. And of course not. Of course it's going to change. There we go. All right. I don't know why. Anyway. So that's in the world. Voila. So now, obviously, we already know this is not. nothing's going to happen. Because I did not put a, um, I did not do a, oh crap, first off, let's do this. Because I don't like how that's so small. And I kind of do apologize for those that don't have 1440, or sorry, 1440. That always gets me sometimes. Oops, wrong one. 2560, uh, 1440. Play a new window. That's the right one. Um. I'll see that doesn't work because that's what we're going to. So we got that now. And when I play an editor, bam. Full screen. Where's my HMD? Now every time I'm with my HMD, I might go a little bit low on the voice. My voice is on my desk. But as you can see, uh, there's my buttons. Other than that, nothing. Can't really do anything. Cool. So. How do we, we enable this? All right, well, Epic has decided to move their uh, motion controllers to a separate actor. So it's outside of the pawn class. Um, as you can see, there's pawn. All this is camera, pretty much. Um, it's got some, um, it's got some, some logic, but regardless, um, we will be using the motion controller. And of course, wherever your motion controller is at, 
this is kind of where you want to do this. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and go interaction, widget interaction. And obviously it tells you it's highly experimental, blah, blah, blah. Till on didn't read, um, some stuff might not work out of the box and it might be bugged, which I did get bugged a lot actually the first time I ran around doing this. So where the heck are we? We're in, okay, event graph, cool. So now we have int widget interaction. What does that give us? That actually gives us a whole bunch of functions. Um, and then these four functions, which I'm not gonna get into because I couldn't figure out the use case for it um, right now, I didn't use it. So if you guys wanna play around with that, good luck. Um, virtual user index, all right, so that, also you can read. Pretty much is gonna tell you where um, the index number and separate the capture and focus states for them, whatever. Um, pointer index, for each virtual controller or virtual fingertips being simulated, should have a different pointer index. Okay, no idea what that means either. Interaction distance, that I do know what this means. This is pretty easy. So this is how far out you want the, um, in, in Unreal units obviously, how far you want the interaction distance to be. I'm gonna choose up to a thousand and interaction source. So obviously this is easy. So this is gonna be world. So from world location and orientation to the um, interaction component. Um, then this is a mouse. I'm not sure about the other three actually. I didn't use them, but all right, it's okay. So the center screen. So this would be probably um, HMD. Um, so if you're looking at something and you, um, that's exactly what it'll be. Uh, world is obviously world and custom, no idea what custom does, but obviously it's something custom, right? Easy, show debug. You're gonna have to turn this on to make sure this thing is actually pointing in the right direction. And that's, once you do that, we're not, we're not, done but to do that we're able to see this in oh I lied I lied I need to put this on the hand mesh so now it should be visible bingo okay so now which is weird because I can see on the screen there that Mines are all messed up. However, and this might be do I might be doing something totally wrong with this, but in the HMD, it looks it looks fine, except that I have like some kind of double vision thing going on. Uh, so not entirely too sure what's up with that. I'll figure it out later. But anyways, so as you can see, nothing's happening. All right, uh, that hover event was pretty simple. So that happened, all right. Hover by its, hover works out of the box when you, once you click on that. It's pretty simple, okay? What doesn't work right out of the box, however, are the mouse presses Ugh. or simulation of any keys or stuff like that. Sorry that, all right. So what we need to do, a couple things we need to do. First off, in the BP motion controller, we need to enable input for class defaults, receive, auto receive input, player one. Now, actually, I'm gonna leave it disabled just to prove my point. But later, but make sure that you do this later. And if I get frustrated because I forgot, that's, all my, that's totally my fault. So widget component, uh, widget interaction component, we're gonna call functions, which uh, we're gonna call the What's, no, we don't want any of that stuff. What we're gonna do is right click, and we're gonna call widget uh, utilities interaction. So that's the one we want, and then it's got a whole bunch of them, whole bunch of stuff here. The ones we really care about is obviously the press and release key, press key, press point key. Well, the one that we are going to talk about will be the press point key as well as the press, or sorry, the release pointer key. This will help us simulate uh, uh, left or right mouse button clicks. So here it is, it says, presses the key as if the mouse pointer were the source of it. Normally you would use for left and right mouse button for key. Um, so here we're gonna do left mouse button. All right, mouse button. And now, 
you take that what do you do with these now huh right okay now we need to figure out how we're going to call them i'm going out to use my triggers motion controller trigger left uh right trigger let's do right triggers we're going to press and that's going to release i don't have any release events actually i don't even have any no did i i'll check again so now i have this right trigger if i press it should simulate the left, right? And for right, it should simulate the right. Now, remember what I said before. I don't have I don't have input enabled. And nothing's happening. Who knew? Alright. Now the damn thing is happening. Bam. Now, go back to class defaults. Enable input player zero. Um, if I did everything correct, everything should work. Easy peasy. Bingo! Boom! Chaka laka, chaka laka, chaka. It's nice when things work. Now, I'm not sure why it's that. Mm, I released it. No? I'm not sure why that. Oops. My bad. Oh, I lost. Lost it. There it is. Sorry, guys. Um, obviously, that's button two in that here. All right, here we go. Try again. Okay. Bingo. Now it's working. Now I should do my right trigger, and I should move into my next level. Maybe. Open level, maybe. No, that was a fail. Oh, boy. What is going on? Did I mess something up? Did I screw something up? Class default. Play zero. Right trigger. Press release. Oh. Left mouse button. My bad. Well, I guess I could do that. But it doesn't matter anyway. Um, let's find out. Bingo! My bad. Totally off. So... That's what happened. Winner. So, get to learn from, your mist from my mistakes. That was a quick, quick down dirty. Wow, that works. If you enjoyed, subscribe. Um, also, I do streams daily. It's been kind of random times now, but um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. 